Carlos, do you copy? Carlos? Hi guys, welcome back to Resident Evil 3. Just a reminder, please do hit those like and subscribe buttons if you like the video. So, pushing on from where we left off in part two, up on the top right of your screen now if you didn't catch that one, we had escaped Nemesis and made our way here. So we have, we have a sewers map, okay. That's not so bad. Doesn't seem too complicated, that's good. Oh, what do we have here? Some handgun bullets, yes, I will take those. I'll take some shotgun shells, yes. And we're not doing too bad now, are we? We've got two first aid kits. Oh, we're a little nemesis present. What is this? Shotgun shells, I mean, <laughs> I'll take them. It's a little underwhelming, considering the first two gifts I got off him were um, upgrade parts. But yeah, all right, I'll take it. We'll hold that and we'll store this. All right, one save later, we're pretty good to go, I think. Now I say good to go, but go where? So we can go all the way down here. <laughs> it's very quiet again. Um, ooh. Is that... That's a hip pouch thing. How do we get in there? We're going to have to figure that one out. There's no obvious door here. Maybe around the corner? Nope. Ah, we have one of those fast access ladders that we can, I guess, drop. Jill, just jump and grab it. Jesus. All right. really wanting to go down that way and there's, there's not much in there either so door door, uh, door won't budge. Looks like it needs, power it needs a battery no doubt unlocking the new electronic locks requires a special made battery pack to be distributed to all employees <laughs> That thing's massive. Please keep your personal battery pack. It so, <laughs> wow, <laughs> just walking around the facility with your personal battery pack, man. All right, we need to find someone's battery pack to get us in there. I see no alternative here. We're going to have to go down. Is this red? Yep. Oh, man. Problem with sliding down areas like this is you then need to find a way up I'm again yeah I couldn't blame you Jill oh, what a mess Ooh. I wonder what the source of that is I hope it's not what I'm thinking all right oh okay so we have two directions we can take here this one goes to the office this one goes to the lab which seems to go in behind the battery pack door. That's odd. So maybe there's a secondary way. So let's go this way first, which was the office. Oh. Okay, I know these dudes. Shoot him in the mouth. Ugh, maybe not. I thought that would drop him, to be totally honest. I could be wrong here. Pretty sure that's the weak point. Ah, I've been wrong before. Six. Six shotgun shells. Ah. Uh, my. Well, thank God I've been hoarding some ammo, but. Uh, I don't think my supplies are going to last that long. If I'm now taking. If I've gone from one shotting zombies to six shotting these things. So this is the office then. Yeah, it is. So we have explosive B. Okay, we'll take it for now. Research assistance log. Gammas, released from tank gammas, okay. Movement sluggish. Experimented with additional hormones and drugs. One adjustment bore positive results with a significant rise in combat potential. 
The specimen is now able to move quickly. Umbrella has officially shut down gamma research. We managed to smuggle some specimens. How many? How many specimens did you smuggle? Two weeks since locating to the sewers. Increased temperatures have led to a decrease in water quality, but specimens appear fine despite my concerns. Gamma's quickly learned the layout. That's not what we want to hear. All specimens are familiar with and friendly towards us, but I procured high-powered weaponry as a safeguard in the event they become uncontrollable. We are luckily secured by bribing the storage department chief. It's beginning to feel cramped. A water treatment worker found his way into the lab, but the gammas promptly eliminated him. This proves their viability for field use. We'll reach out to Umbrella's European branch tomorrow. Maybe they'll see the light. So those things are gammas. And they know the whole layout of the sewer system. Invoice from gun shop. Special adjustments to this piece to ensure compatibility, with different ammunition, optimal performance. As we discussed at the time of purchase, this is a refurbished model and the chamber needs to be manually cycled between shots. It'll take an extra moment, that's fine. So we have explosive rounds. Oh, this is a grenade launcher, flame and acid. Mine rounds can't be readily crafted, not worth stocking up on. Mine rounds, never had those before, I don't think. So here's the grenade launcher takes up two slots oh my inventory is gone take a hit big time so it's got two in the chamber hmm we definitely need that hip pouch we spotted that will kind of offset the fact i'm holding another two slots now B. Is there anything else? Oh, I hate this. I hate things that take two slots in your inventory. We have nothing. We've never seen one of those before, so I have nothing to mix it with. Well, we know that there's um totally i was about to say we know there's a save room so let's save that's definitely going to be handy so <laughs> with the inventory management i have to now figure out that'll be handy to kind of come back here because the map looks relatively small so i can be here pretty quickly if i need to be all right is that where does that go oh that's where i slid down okay so I went left. Hand grenade. Hand grenade. No, I only have one slot. We have to come back this way anyway. So now this this way splits off again. Oh. Come on, open up. Brilliant. So one flame round will drop a gamma. That's very handy. Where's the split? Up here on my right. Ah, okay, behind the little waterfall. I don't I don't want to call that a waterfall, maybe a sludge fall or something. We have some little boxes up here. Get the knife ready. And nobody hiding. There is a corpse there though, so we best um we best make sure. Oh he seems he does seem pretty dead. But yeah, he's he's pretty dead. Uh they got Kane this time. One of the things just swallowed him whole, head to toe. I tried to warn them when Bill went missing. The cops said he probably skipped town. Not with his baby coming any day. But did they listen? Nope. This is bullshit. Every time I think I've lost them, another one pops out of the tunnels, and it's not like I can count on the fucking cops. Don't trust those pencil pushers at HQ either. Okay. So it didn't go very well for this sewer worker. So 
<laughs> got my flame rounds back on here. Um, pretty much cleared that. We did it. Oh, damn. This is my last flame round. He looks done. Drop. Okay, phew. Thought I was going to have to expend some shotgun shells, but that's the end of my flame rounds now, so... Oh, things are looking... <sighs> flame rounds? Two! Oh, two more! Okay. This is where we start coming across problems with our inventory. So we're at the lab. So let's see what's going on here first. We're going to keep in mind there's two flame rounds down there. Which we're definitely going to have to make space for. So what do we have going on in here? Oh, for the love of God. Okay. <laughs> we have the battery pack. Which takes up two. Two slots. Uh, wait, why, why? A love letter. It's already been three months since we fled here together. I find myself... Thinking back to the day you hatched, your little voices made me tremble with pride. Blah, 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 and yet they ordered me to destroy you. They said you were unfit for use. Are you susceptible? So what if you're susceptible to heat? Ah, so it is the fact that they're flame rounds. Ah, blah, 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 I will prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved hunter gammas, hunters, so they're hunter gammas, are truly superior. So it isn't the fact that I'm just using a grenade launcher. It's, um... It's the fact that they're flame. Brilliant. That's awesome because there's two outside. Now, what do we have in this here locker? Explosive A. So I assume you mix these together. Combine explosive A to create explosive or combine with B to create flame rounds. So we have an A and a B. Don't we? Yeah, we can totally um, craft some flame rounds here. And then we can get the two outside. How many flame rounds does the... Um, there's some more gunpowder. I wonder how many flame rounds the grenade launcher can hold. Because I have three there. I have two outside. So that's five. That would only give us one slot, though. I need two. Let's see. Well, I'll definitely hold the three. Let's grab the two outside. Hopefully it can hold five. That would be good. Then we'd have... That's more or less five gammas we can drop. We still keep that slot free. Yes, brilliant. Okay. Okay. Now. What do we do about the battery? I'm half tempted to head back to the save room again. I could just discard this. I will. Save myself a bit of time. All right, let's grab the battery pack and push on. Oh, I have to make double space for it. It's like a little puzzle here we have to do. There we go. Move this over one. Brilliant. And our inventory is jam-packed. Hmm. What's left in the lab? First aid kit, I think. Battery, battery, battery. Goes. Yeah, it was this way. Past the hand grenade, which... Which I don't have room for. Hmm. God, I hate... This I hate how limited my inventory is. I mean, it makes the game fantastic in the sense you really have to think things through. Think, what do I need and what don't I need? But I feel like I need everything. 
So we're just going to push on ahead here. With everything. So we can take out... Oh, wow, okay. I got a little close to him. We can take out four more. Assuming that this trend stays alive and I can drop them all with one shot, then yeah, that's, uh, that's four more we can take. It's pretty good. I feel good now. I won't feel good when there's one left in the chamber, but for now I'm quite happy. I hope there aren't bigger versions of the Gammas. Decisions, decisions, guys. Oh, wow. All right. Three left in the chamber. And that's kind of factoring into my decision here. I don't want to go backwards to the save room now. Just in case another one pops up. And that brings me down to two. Try and play this some bit smart. It's really annoying though. I do like grenades. I, I, I don't know if I, I've ever said that <laughs> during this Resi series at all, but I do like grenades. Okay. Hip pouch. Okay. That would be a welcome relief. We can drop the battery off here. Well, this isn't a door. That's not the door I was looking at earlier, but this needs a battery as well. There you go. All right, so what do we have here? I can probably just pick up the battery when I leave again. But there's nowhere else to go. Oh, okay. I let my guard down. I assumed because I was inside, I would be fine. I didn't think for a second. I, well, maybe, you know, I come across a zombie or something, but not a gamma. Hmm. Oh, okay, we can open. Okay, so we can open this. So we don't have to go back through that other door now. That's the door I actually need to go in. Right? So could I? Could I take the battery again? I can. Okay, brilliant. It locks that door. But we have this one open. Ah, that's a pretty smart little system. I'm just trying to picture employees walking around with their personal battery pack. Oh. Okay, so this should be the place with the hip pouch, if I'm not mistaken. Boop, boop. It is. There's not much else going on in here, though. So let's grab that. Two more slots. That is fantastic. And so badly, badly needed. Okay. So we've got more explosive. We have some gunpowder. And I think that's it. I think that's the room. So we have the explosive. I think it was explosive A. Eh? And we have gunpowder. And we still have two free slots. Let's, um... Yeah, we need those slots, actually. Now that I remember it. We need this battery pack. We're down to two flame rounds now, so... <laughs> oh, boy. That's that door down there. That we initially came by. So I'm assuming that's the way forward. Oh, and here's the ladder. Okay. That makes sense. Pop that back in. Let's see what's what and where we are. Okay, stairway back up there. I thought that was a note pinned to the thingy bob, but it wasn't. Where exactly am I? 
Carlos, can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. The subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. Brilliant. They're gonna wait. I, I had honestly completely forgotten about the whole subway thing. Once I arrived down here, this all became its own thing. <laughs> Last... Oh! Oh... No... We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. Ah, I thought I would get past him. Get off me, you stupid zombie. Alright, down through here. Good girl, Joe. Get it, get it closed, get it closed. Oh, all the way. Oh, where am I now? It can use weapons? Yeah, <laughs> it can use weapons. That's a goddamn flamethrower. That hardly seems fair. So, this was a save room. I'll take the herb. You know, we're going to need some healing stuff, absolutely. So we'll kind of pop that on. We're going to be fine that way. This is explosive A. So I needed an A and a B to make flame rounds. A and A is explosive rounds. I assume I'm not going to find any more gammas. I'm out of the subway. So let's use the explosive that might just be handy against Nemesis. How do you get him into the gun? <laughs> Uh, which, which, oh my god, I want to put them in the gun. Why won't you go in the gun? No, okay. I think I see it here. L1. Oh, there we go. That's kind of handy. Okay, three explosive rounds in the gun, two in reserve. They're in the inventory. I still have... What do I have in here? I have a hand grenade. I think about that. I'm probably going to need more, um, more health. We'll leave the gunpowder there in case I kind of run across some more. So I'll be able to be able to put together some ammo pretty quickly. I don't want to head out, but we kind of has to. So we'll st we're gonna start out with our handgun. Thinking, should I equip this and go with this first? Um, we'll see what happens. So where are we going? All right, up these stairs. zombies we'll just kind of we might just deal with this one nicely done oh oh guess who's here nothing in this corner here holy crap how much fuel does he have he's got a big tanker on his back I was going to say remind me, but I must remind myself to shoot that tanker. See if I can pop it. Okay, so we have a ladder here on our left. Anything on our right? Anything at all? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's go. This is becoming quite the chase. He got up there pretty quickly. Quite surprised he chose to raise the gun at me. Instead of just kind of grabbing me. But you know what? I'll take it. Can we jump? We can. Back around towards... Okay. We have another ladder here. Up we go again. Oh, this whole place is going up. Surprised the steel is catching fire. Another jump. 
Oh! I don't know. Come on. Don't be don't be getting slowed down now by by falling stuff. Let's let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Up again. Oh, save room. We have another save room. Not really much here. Notice of demolition delay. We've decided to delay demolition. All electrical equipment, including generators, has been moved to the roof. So that's where we're headed. We know the generators can stop him in his tracks. So let's go and make some... Um, let's go and take advantage of some generators. Oh, there he is. There's that thing on his back, alright? That's what I'm going for. Let's so hit him with a... Little ghetto gospel. There we go. Okay, look, it caught fire straight away. And now he caught fire. No, I thought he caught fire. Maybe that's kind of it. Keep... No, because I could just hit him with flame rounds if that's the case. I'm just gonna stay on this. I wanna see. <laughs> oh, got me as well. Damn it. It does seem to be having an effect. I mean, it's going on fire. If I can make it explode, I mean, that's it, right? This is boss fight over. If I can't, then I've expended all this ammunition for nothing. We'll reload the save, and we'll go again. Oh, he's making it rain fire. Oh, nemesis, you crafty, crafty tyrant, you. There he is. Oh, he's coming fast. Oh! Jesus, did you see that? He just completely dodged it. I get... I don't, I don't know if I'm frustrated at him or frustrated at myself that I kept doing it. Oh, we've had to go to shotgun territory now. Pick these up. Pick these up. Okay, this is ready again. It's charged. Let's get these explosive rounds in. Pop that. I go back after him. Yes, yes. Okay, it works. It was the tank. It was the tank. Nighty night. Oh no. It's still kicking. That's what I was thinking. Stop. <laughs> Why am I wasting my grenade rounds like that? Oh, crap. He charges. He char- Oh. Oh, I felt that. It's another one. I think I'm out of- Yeah, I'm out of um, explosive grenade rounds. So that gives us the shotgun now. Dodge. Oh, hit. Oh, feeling that. Feeling that. Feeling that. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, I had nothing left in the chamber. It's just not been our day, huh? Okay, feeling fine. What are we doing? What are we doing? I've completely forgotten. We need to get to the subway, to the train. Carlos, it's Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. All right? Yeah. Bastard's dead. Good. Fuck him. What were you thinking? Turning yourself into bait. He could have been killed. Don't start. 
I did what I had to. I know. And thanks. The subway's ready to go. Hurry back. I'm delighted that they waited for me. Again. So we gotta get back to the subway. We've also gotta restock on some ammo. I expended quite a bit. Well, not too much. I mean, mostly what I expended was handgun bullets. Shotgun shells, not too many of those. And, uh, well, every grenade I had for the grenade launcher. Oh, slowly but surely restocking your handgun ammo. Alrighty. Oh, this is quite cool. Where are we? Hmm. Got a red barrel there on our right in front of that car. Zombie by the window, zombie down there eating a body. There's a few zombies in and around the center. Maybe we'll... Might kite. Might kite those, two or three of them, towards that barrel. Oh my god. This must be the police station. This is, um... In Resident Evil 2, you meet Ada down here as you're trying to open up these shutters. Oh, what a... That's pretty cool. Fair play. Okay, so we have a little thingy bob we can open here. What is this? High grade gunpowder. Now in Resi, I'm pretty sure there was a way to open the car here. But I, that's not gonna carry through here, so let's not worry, but no, that's pretty cool. So that's the parking for the police station by the looks of it. So we're really close to the police station now is what I'm saying. All right, we've got, whoa. It's gone very blurry there, that zombie is. Maybe we can get this guy as well. Skylight. And you. Why don't you all follow me? Just gonna just gonna clear it up just a little here. Just make walking around a little easier. Alright, a little closer. Boom. Oh, that guy on the stretcher was alive. Look. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So he looks fine. He really wants into that restaurant, so leave him be. He's not reacting. Anyone over this side? Or anything? No. Looks like a construction site of some kind. And we have the gun shop. We have a padlock here. Let's try the, the lock pick. No. It only works on simple locks. And so, you know, when you lock a toy store, what you do is use a simple lock, because that makes sense. Anyway. Hmm. So let's see what kind of goodies we can get here. That's explosive B. Green herb. Semi auto barrel shotgun. Oh, I like. Oh, we'll be putting that on our shotgun. We're going to be putting that right on our shotgun. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Now our shotgun takes up <laughs> two pieces of our inventory. Two slots. So, six slots or seven slots, if you include the knife, have been used by our weaponry, leaving six slots for everything else. Three different guns, three different types of ammo. That leaves three slots. No, because the grenade launcher has three to four different types of ammo. If you count the mine rounds. Really, we can't run around with much, can we? Explosive B. There we go. We've got flame rounds again. Hmm. Three. How many did she put into the gun? I don't know, but we picked up three. Grab that herb. Okay, handgun ammo. Yes, there were seven there. More gunpowder. Hmm. Slowly stocking up again. Kabo! Shit, Jill. Kendo, you're all right. Yeah, all well, right to stretch. Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You win? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. 
When we get out, there's gonna be a lot to do. We could use a man of your skill set. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a... Uh, just bad timing is all. Well... Look, um, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's... that's your job, right? <laughs> Take care, Jill. Okay, so that must be the key for the alleyway outside. To the station, take that service alley out in front of the shop, okay? The key's hanging on the wall. Thanks, buddy. It's all right, pumpkin. It's all right. That's a good girl. And that is a tragic story all in itself. Okay. So we can... Oh, fancy. What do we need? I don't think I'm going to need this anymore. I don't think we have to worry about Nemesis for a while now. He's had his fun. We'll hold on to the first aid spray just in case, I guess. That will give us two free slots. All right, so let's see what's down this alley exactly and how it gets us to the, well, to the railways, to uh, the subway station. Is that dude still up there at the restaurant? He is. Nothing else. Nothing else to worry about. I see a red herb. Yep, there it is. We can drop that. So that's three slots now. We'll take the herb. Oh, he's alive. Oh! Ah, oh, not one of those ammo draining things up above. All right, I'm gonna. I have a green herb in my stash, so I'm gonna combine it with the red. Get that done now. We can store that back, so it's not a problem. I still have my three slots. I'll also get that singular zombie out. We can take him out on his own or maybe disable him. I'll, I'll try and take out his leg here. And then we can uh, see how we get on with that other guy. Come on, break leg. Give me a crit, give me a crit, crit. No crit to be had. What was that, like eight bullets on the leg? I would have been better off just headshotting him. <laughs> I've gotten very lucky with crits on body parts until just now. So what do we do with this guy? Straight away, look, his head kind of closes up to cover the, the weak point. Oh, crap. Get off me, you stupid zombie. Nice, right, a shotgun territory. Go. Oh, brilliant. That's a great way to take them down. What you do is you let them attack you, then knock them back, then they're exposed, and then you can shotgun them with one shot. Of course, that's not going to do wonders for my health. We need a better way. We could knock them. We could shoot their leg and knock them onto their face, then run past really quickly before they can flip. I don't know. I'll try. Oh, a little doll thing. Gonna have to do a playthrough chasing all of those down. Maybe after this one. Because I've gotta go after all the documents as well. Oh! Okay, face is open. Did that do it? Alright. Alrighty. That's a shame. Three shotgun shells. Yep, three gone there. And my health is not great anymore. It's on caution again. Or fine. It says fine, right? Raccoon Times, I'm writing to you because I'm troubled, deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays. 
and there's no store more popular than Toy Uncle. However, I've noticed on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen? Ha, huh, that's very random. What do we have in here? Shotgun shells? Ooh. Oh, I'll take those. Ah, oh, they're not the same type. It would have been nice. But that's okay. For now, at least. We have the space for now. Okay. Alright, we're pushing on out of here. I don't recognize this place either. I really wanted to get back to the railway station. It's just an open area. What is this? Oh no, he has his grenade launcher. Rocket launcher, I don't know, run. Rocket launcher, really? okay. We just gotta run and dodge, I guess. Go, 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 go. Uh, shotgun, 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 shotgun. Die, die, die. Run! Oh my god, he's... You can just... Oh, Jesus, you can't give up. I thought it was just... Oh. I thought this was just gonna be a case of uh, running and dodging, but no. You cannot become complacent. He just... These guys... Uh... He just catches right up to you. Come on, let's trap him here. No, he wants to go out of that range. Ah, oh, double miss. He must be so infuriated right now. Run, run. He loves getting close and personal with these weapons. He like jumped right in my face. Ah! Move me. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, he jumped right in my face with his flamethrower, and now he's like standing, he's standing right there in my face with a rocket, with a, yeah, with a rocket launcher. So the map looks familiar now. Now my health is fine. It's, um, it's cutscene damage that's, um, slowing me down right now. And you know, who can blame Jill after all the punishment we just took there? Cool fire in the distance. Okay, are we anywhere? Jill, you there? I think I know how to slow that fucker down. Head back towards the station. And lead him right to you? It's okay. Trust me. No problem at all. That's where I want to be, is the station. Okay. Wow, everything's on fire. So I guess he was through here already with his flamethrower. Why, well, thank God he didn't touch the toy store, huh? Now we have the damn rocket launcher to deal with. And suddenly that newspaper article about the rolling head makes sense. This is insane. You're right, Jill. This is <laughs> so insane. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Whew. Where is he? I hear him. I don't see him, but... It oh, there he is. It's right on me again. Watching for his shadow. No sign. Hey, Carlos. All right. I hope you've got something good up your sleeve, buddy. Hey, you okay? 
Go. Go! Out of here. That was pretty cool. A big, big nemesis shaped object impacted the door. Look, oh, fantastic. All right, let's push on. This is where I've wanted to be from the start on the train subway thing. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start, but thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Yeah, well, I am, dude. What matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah. And you'll be safe. Yes, me too. I also want out of the city. Now, from the sound of it, I won't be catching the train. Why not? Now there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. Huh. Yeah, I know I'd totally be out of there, Carlos. Straight on the train. We're out of here. Adios. Goodbye. I know a last cause when I see one. Oh, no, it won't let me aim at Carlos. Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last man out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. I'm not going to die on you and leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go! So you don't really think you've been so pushy like part of still alive, do you? I have it on good authority. Why? Are you worried about teammates? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Don't you think? <laughs> Subway's gotta be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot dick. Nah, she's not like that. Hell, she's not like anybody. <clears throat> All right, keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This is the police station. You sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. A lot happened there, a lot to take in there. Um, so I'm going to leave the video right here. Part 4 will we'll take off right here at this spot with Carlos and Tyrell. So hopefully you liked the video or found it some bit useful. If you liked the video, please do hit that like button. 
and like the video if you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. Thank you so much as always for tuning in, and until next time, take it easy, all the best. Thank you.